There is a Santa Claus, isn't there? Yes, Tiny Tim. There is a spirit in the world of generosity that brings good things to all of us, whoever we may be. So I believe in Santa Claus, for it can't be denied that he is generosity personified. Yes, there is a Santa Claus for children everywhere. Though you may watch the chin Santa? Huh? 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 <laughs> yes, there really is a Santa. Would you like to hear the story? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Okay. Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was peaceful, not even a mouse. The stockings all hung by the chimney with care, when opened that morning would cause quite a scare. The children all nestled all snug in their beds, with nightmares and monsters and skeleton heads. The moon had hung over the new-fallen snow, cast an ire trance on the city below. And Santa Claus, laughter sounds like terrible groans, and the jingle bells like chattering bones. And what to their wondering eyes should appear but a coffin sleigh with scary reindeer? There was a sleazy driver, so ugly and sick, he knew in a moment this couldn't be St. Nick. For Santa was an imposter. His real name was Jack. He wanted to create doubt about the real Santa. Now that was a fact. From house to house, with a true sense of joy, Jack happily deposited each broken toy. From rooftop to rooftop, he jumped and he skipped leaving presents that seemed to be straight from the crypt. Totally aware that the world was in panic and fear, Jack variably spread his own brand of cheer. He visited the house of Su Susie and Dave. They got the remains from an unknown grave. Then on to the home of little Jean Neiman. She got a baby doll possessed by a demon. A man-eating plant disguised as a wreath and a vampire teddy bear with a very sharp teeth. There were screams of terror, but Jack didn't hear it. He was much too involved in his Christmas spirit. Jack finally looked down from his dark, starry flight and saw the commotion he had created that night. They love their new Santa. I am so much fun. Someday they will thank me for the good job I've done. And while they are playing with their Barbies and Ken, these miserable creatures should be locked in their den. Among the barrage of artillery fire, Jack urges his sleigh to go higher and higher. 
and away Jack flew like a storm of a thistle until he was hit by a well-guided missile. And as he fell into the cemetery way out of sight, he was heard to say, I hate Santa, he is such a fright. Jack pulled himself up by a large stone cross, and from there he reviewed his incredible loss. I thought I could display Santa, I had such belief, now knowing he couldn't be filled with, with much grief. Not knowing where to turn, he looked toward the sky. Then he slumped on the grave and started to cry. As Jack lay there all crumpled on the ground, he suddenly heard a familiar sound. My dear Jack, said Santa, you had evil intent. I know destroying me was exactly what you meant. And so you are sad and feeling quite blue, but taking over Santa was the wrong thing to do. There is a lot more, Jack, that I would like to say, but now I must hurry because it's almost Christmas Day. Then Santa jumped in his sleigh, and with a wink of an eye, he said, Merry Christmas, Jack, and bid him goodbye. So there really is a good Santa, so proud and noble, and now he is on the intranet at ME Global. If Rooftop to rooftop, he jumped and he stopped, leaving presents that seemed to be straight from the crypt. Oh. It was what? skipped. What did I say? Stopped. Oh, I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Okay. <laughs> then on the way home of the... Uh, yeah, I'm having problems here. Among the... Bar Barrage. Barrage of artillery. With a suit. Don't think about how hot it is. No, it is getting hot, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, it's getting hot. <laughs> about one third of the way done. One third? I thought we were about half. Okay. Okay. All right, better knock a bunch of it out. Yeah. <laughs> the what? What'd you say? From here, it just gets harder. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the problem is, you read it and you're thinking about the real story, yeah. and you keep thinking, you know, and you wait a second. Sugar really? Sugar That's sugar. in there? You know? <laughs> this is As Jack lay there, that all crump, crumpled on the ground, he yeah. suddenly. Yeah. Jeez, oh, Pete. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> now looking, he couldn't. Now knowing he couldn't, he was filled with much grief. Dad gun. Afraid. Here, your your Santa suit is falling off. That's not all that's falling off. Here, we want you to look like a normal Santa, right? Yeah. <laughs> and fat chance of that happening. You want to practice it? No. You got it. I got it. Okay. For Santa was a monster. His real name was Jack. He wanted to create doubt about the real Santa now that he, you know what, excuse me a second, that's moving. And then this afternoon you're going to want deliveries. I guess. You're not getting any. <laughs> no. <laughs> when he stopped, do you want Santa to say anything or what happens? We'll take, take it one okay. step at a time. Oh, got it. All right. Okay, are you okay. ready? Yes. Okay, let her rip. Is there a really a, okay? Cut. <laughs> you don't say cut. That's not your role. He's a judge. Okay. All right. You ready? Oh yeah. my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Is there a really a Santa? Huh? 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 <laughs> and Mr. Randy, what would you like for Christmas? I'd like this video to be over. <laughs> <laughs> Mary, what would you like for Christmas? Same as Randy. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, that goes three times. <laughs> yeah, same thing. Yeah. Same thing. <laughs> Get out of this suit. 